So now we're going to set the, the pocket gopher traps. We found the tunnel. We know it goes in two directions, or in this case, we had actually three tunnels. So we, we don't know where the gopher is in their system. There's one gopher per system. They're a solitary animal. So the idea is to put a trap in each tunnel, and when the gopher comes along in that tunnel, they'll get the trap and be, uh, be captured. Once you put the traps in the tunnel, the one thing you need to do is you need to exclude the light because if you leave that open, what will happen is the gophers will push soil to close it up because they want to keep their, their system sealed up. It keeps predators out, it keeps the humidity and temperature nice and even for them. So what happens is if you leave the light from your trap hole, the gophers will see that, will push soil in front of them to close that up. And as they're pushing that soil in front of them, they're going to push that soil into your trap, and therefore it's going to be out of service. So you need to do something to exclude the light. So you have to use what you have on hand. Now here we had uh, some stones, so we put those over the opening of the uh, tunnels. We then sifted some soil around and closed that up. So now it's a good, tight, closed set. You can use sod, you can use uh, canvas, plywood, whatever you have at hand, but a good idea to get that light excluded. Some people say, no, leave a little light, but really there's no need to do that, so exclude the light. Gophers aren't affected by the odor of you setting the trap, so you don't have to use gloves or, or something like that. Also, you need to stake your flags. You need to wire them and put them on a stake. What will happen if a gopher gets trapped but not killed, they may back into their tunnel, and if your trap doesn't have a, have a wire on it, they'll take your trap with them and you'll lose your trap. So those are kind of expensive. You don't want to lose them. So be sure to stake your traps. Check them uh, probably in about 24 hours. Uh, one of the disadvantages of these kinds of sets, you've got to dig them up to see if you caught anything. So give it some time to work. If you haven't caught a gopher in that set in probably three days, I would go ahead and move it. It might mean that the gopher is gone or moved to another area and just isn't exploring that part of their tunnel. So usually within 24 hours, if you're going to catch a gopher, you will have done it.